Solving the energy issue has become the focus of international cooperation and conflict in recent years. Even though hydropower plants, wind turbines, and photovoltaic solar energy are now available to humans, it is still challenging to supply the enormous demand for energy that people have today. Many scientists are now focusing their attention on space. In order to transform space resources into energy that can support human existence, they want to apply technical techniques. Being one of the nations with the largest populations, in order to use energy from space, China also has a very high energy requirement. A 120 billion renminbi space energy plan has recently been unveiled by China. However, the public does not support this endeavor, and several Western media outlets dismiss it as a waste of time. So what is China's announcing strategy for space energy? Orbit. More than 1300 watts of thermal energy may be produced by solar energy per square meter. As long as humans manage to gather the heat energy, convey it through some specialized technology back to the ground, and then transform it into electricity by means of the Earth. Every home might receive it for regular power consumption. According to a calculation by Nasser, the energy obtained in a year would be equal to all the oil that humans now extract as long as they placed a solar electromagnetic belt on the Earth's orbit that was one kilometer wide and allowed it to circle the planet once. Because it implies that humans would have endless energy as long as space solar power plants can be created, this data has garnered attention on a worldwide scale. This has led several nations to have aspirations of constructing a space power plant in the future in order to acquire energy from space. Among them, China intends to spend 120 billion yuan over the following 10 years to construct a huge space power plant. Space Solar Power Plant is the name of China's space energy initiative. Installing a sizable solar panel on the satellite, sending the solar panels into orbit, and waiting for him to gather a sizable amount of space are the steps taken by China's space solar power plant. Solar power sources in orbit, then progressively producing electrical energy from these resources. Finally, using certain unique technologies, the energy it produces is returned to the Earth. China also needs to construct a base station specifically for acquiring energy from the Earth. Additionally, this base station must be able to bear the strain of an abruptly high energy input, as a result, the first budget investment for China's ambition to build a solar power station in space might reach 120 billion renminbi, so that we might construct this power plant. The project finances are not capped in China, and future investment may rise further. What benefits might the space power plant provide China then? First off, there is no atmosphere in space to act as a barrier. Therefore, space power plants receive more solar energy than the planet does. If China is successful in developing a space power plant, it will be able to generate power continuously for 24 hours, ending China's electricity shortage and allowing its citizens to waste electricity at pleasure. Second, space power plants can lessen carbon emissions on the Earth and halt the atmosphere's warming impact. It may also act as a parasol to shield the Earth at all times. Additionally, solar power plants in orbit can help with the current problem of global warming. Finally, compared to conventional dispatching techniques, the cost of distributing electricity for space power stations is significantly lower. More significantly, the space power plant makes use of laser reflection theory and microwave technology. Additionally, there is no requirement to construct a sizable power transmission network on the ground. Although China's space power plant is excellent, many nations lack confidence in this initiative. Some Western media outlets even assert that China's space program is bound to failure and will end up being a waste of money and that China's aviation power has not yet overtaken all others in the globe. Despite the fairly severe language used by the Western media, that is the object of universal ridicule. Because the United States is the most powerful nation in aerospace, they also have certain views. As a rising star, they have not yet been able to construct space power plants. There must be a strength gap in China's aeronautical capabilities. Second, despite having a lot of space resources, Russia and the United Kingdom have yet to successfully construct a functional space power plant. Therefore, it is understandable that the Western media does not like China's space power plant. We all know that China lagged other nations in terms of aeronautical development. But despite having a lagging aerospace industry, China has made good progress because to the persistent efforts and learning of its experts. For instance, 
China's future Tiangong space station will be just the second space station ever constructed in human history, while many nations are currently unable to construct space stations on their own. Additionally, China has launched the Shenzhou series of manned spacecraft several times to explore the Moon and Mars. China is now second in the world for aerospace strength, but spending 120 billion renminbi to construct a sizable space power station is not a simple challenge for China. The United Kingdom, one of the continent's four largest economies, previously published a study. The world's population will increase to 9.7 billion by 2050. Because of changes in population composition and increases in living standards in developing countries, global energy consumption is expected to increase by a factor of 50% during the next several decades. The United Kingdom has similar plans to build a space power plant in case of any unexpected catastrophes in the future. It is reported that more than 50 technically competent and organized nations from the United Kingdom are participating in the British Space Energy Program. These organizations believe that developing a space power plant is a highly prudent choice, despite the fact that the project will take a very long period. They want to construct a solar power plant in low Earth orbit by the year 2035, but there will also be a great deal of difficulty in doing so. In the event that these concerns are not addressed and overcome, the successful completion of the building project will not occur until the year 2050. The construction of a power plant in space may have certain difficulties, so what are they? The exceptionally high levels of solar radiation that are present in space provide the first difficulty that must be overcome by the technology of space power plants. The second issue is that because the space power plant is placed in orbit at a height of 36,000 kilometers, it is extremely difficult to maintain and run it. Repairing it is also quite difficult. In order to maintain power transmission from the space power plant to the ground, the relative positions of the two components must also remain unchanged. In spite of this, the space power plant is now moving at a rapid speed throughout the world. The last problem is that the Earth's orbital resources are limited since it is home to a high number of satellites, and space power plants are too massive to put in areas with restricted space. This makes it difficult to access these resources. Even though the looming energy crisis was the source of inspiration for the idea of building a power plant in space, it will be extremely difficult for mankind to find a solution to this problem in a short amount of time. In order for humans to find solutions to many problems, they need to explore things with patience and carry out experiments. As a consequence of this, the space power plant is now simply in the experimental phase. In spite of this, however, humankind will bring about a big energy revolution, provided that we are able to make it happen. Do you believe that humans will one day be able to build power plants in space? If you enjoyed watching the video, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to my channel. Let's look at some other interesting projects together in the future. Share your opinion in comments. Also, click on this video to watch about another shocking project.